Yeah, hi, it's uh, Darren Hennig, your Sky Cadet here. I'm just going to pan around here. I just did up a uh, test mount for my, um, let me just get her in there. So what we've got here is a, um, this is a 450 motor that I'm going to be putting in a Lancair ES, or Lancair, sorry, ES uh, plane from Great Plains in lieu of the stock uh, 400, uh, speed 400 motor. Uh, more efficient system and so on. Um, you can't really see it here, but I, I've just done some really high-tech electric taping here. This is just a test platform that I was doing to evaluate the uh, system, and I didn't really want to make it too permanent, but um, as you can see here, I've got the, the back. It's actually, um, or sorry, the ESC and the dual back is a uh, uh, an E-Flight 20 amp um, unit. Uh, it's got dual backs and it'll handle up to four servos. And um, this is a, um, I'm just trying to remember if it was Great Plains or uh, Hangar 9. It'll actually handle up to a 0.2 uh, size motor. And as you can see here, I've just, um, I'll just zoom in here a little bit. You can see how this thing, oh man, it's not in focus. Let me get this focused. This is crazy. Okay, sorry about the uh, quality there. I guess I got to back up a little here. Anyway, the um, you can see how the motor's bolted right on. It's steel, so it's nice and solid. I've got three. It's plywood, and then I bolted it onto. I'm just going to back up here. You can see the whole thing here is on a speaker stand, and it's heavy enough to hold the motor system. Um, I'm not normally going to use this a lot. Uh, I live in an apartment. I don't have a big workshop to, to work in, so I'm kind of limited. But you can see how this thing uh, goes. Now, um, you'll notice I've got a three-blade prop. I'm thinking of running a master air screw prop here. Uh, this is a 9 by uh, nine by 7 inch. So um, The uh, stock prop for the uh, Lance Air is a, um, a 9 by 6 and uh, Anyway, I'm going to pause now and I'll show you this wind up on here so you can hear how the unit sounds. Um, <clears throat> yeah, hi, it's uh, Darren Henniger, Sky Cadet. Hi, how you doing? Uh, hopefully I'm not too scruffy looking today. I'm um, just going to do this wind up here in a few seconds, but I just wanted to show you here. Um, this Hangar 9 uh, tachometer is a really handy one. It's got a little photo cell on it and uh, you can actually set it for either two blade, three blade or four blade props it were off and it's really slick and you just multiply the number that you see by 10. I've already posted the data on running this uh, master air screw prop here. Uh, I think this is going to pull quite a bit faster. I did some calculations on um, drive calc using a, a motor similar. They didn't have the 450. I've got the specs on the 450. I'm going to try to plug them in and see what I can get uh, as far as performance. but. Um, uh, on wind out, full out wind out, I'm running a peak of 195 watts. Uh, the motor's rated for 175, so we're we're actually kind of in the red zone there. It's kind of like red line, if you will. Um, probably throttle management. Uh, you could like just do a quick takeoff and you know five or five or ten seconds max, and then throttle her back. Uh, or you could set uh, if you have a radio like a, a you know a DX6I as an example. You know, you could do something like this, and then maybe do throttle management down to 70, or sorry, 90 percent, which would keep you right right below the red line. But either way that you go, um, uh, this thing is going to pull like hell. I'm going to be modifying the cowling. Uh, there's an inner cowling on the on the airplane, and um, I'll have to obviously offset the motor and stuff. I've got a custom spinner coming from True Turn. It's uh, anodized purple to match the color scheme of the plane. It should look really attractive. I got a two and a three blade uh, version just in case I do want to go back to a two blade later. Uh, I'm tending to leaning towards doing the three bladed prop uh, spinners just because uh, I'm finding they run smoother. Um, these three blades tend to really balance nicely and they pull like hell. They just go. Now um, I did a similar modification using a three blade on my uh, Super Decathlon uh, Park Zone. Um, brushless and uh, the 370 motor on there um, with the 8x6 by, by 3 blade it hardly uh, draws more than the uh, 2 blade stock uh, just a tiny bit more maybe 10% more this thing uh, compared to a couple of um, other um, prompts that I've tried so far like I tried a 2 blade scimitar a 9x5 um, the 9x5 ran pretty close to uh, almost 9,000 RPM. Uh, it was it was kind of getting a little unstable at that point. Uh, I didn't even get up to full speed because it wasn't balanced very well and I was having a hell of a time. But um, it, uh, what was I trying to say here? Anyway, it, um, you know, being that it's a 9-inch nine, nine prop, um, 
you know, it'll work pretty well. But the nice thing with these uh, nine by seven. Oh, I'm sorry. I know what I was going to say. Um, it's about 11 amps, roughly, just under 11 amps uh, peak, running that two blade prop. And I'm running about uh, 15 and a half, almost 16. Um, actually, 15.7 instead of instead of the 10. So that's quite a difference. Um, I'm actually uh, a little bit into the red line, like I say, with the motor. So anyway. Um, so what I've done here basically, I've already done my tachometer measurements, I just wanted to show you what I was doing. Usually I just use an LED flashlight and, uh, and then I just shine it so that it, you know, the blade can come and I can actually you know, read it as it's spinning and then I just take my measurements and away I go. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a quick fire up on this thing um, and uh, I'm just going to go through, basically I'm going to get to where it's idling and then I'm going to go in stages about um, uh, one sixth, so 16% up, all the way up. So I'll go through half and then and go on from there. Um, this combination here draws about uh, 50, uh, 40 watt. Well, yeah, it's about 40 watts at about 50% throttle, and at 60% throttle, uh, you're running at about 60 watts. That's electrical power. So if you figure it's about two thirds efficient or so, or maybe half, uh, kind of gives you a rough idea of the kind of uh, you know rough thrust or pull it's going to give. Um, when I used drive calc, I did a calculation, um, like I said, using this system or a similar motor, and uh, it's doing two pounds of static thrust, which is enough to lift that plane. Uh, the Lancer should lift right up, so it's going to be really interesting. Anyway, I'm just going to fire this up, uh, run it, run it through the stages up to full up, and then I'll, I'll throttle her back down. Just want to show you how quiet and smooth this runs, and then uh, that's about it. I'm running um, a. Um, Right now it's an E-Flight uh, 11 point, well it's the uh, 3S 2100 milliamp um, light post, so it's uh, pretty good. And I've also got a watts up meter. I've done a couple of little things here with different connectors to, you know, be able to hook up different things. So we're going to fire this up. I'm using an AR500 radio and I'm going to be using high tech uh, HI55 servos for my uh, throws. So what I'm going to basically do here is just fire her up. So it takes about a uh, little, about 15% throttle to kind of, um, just a little over 10 to kick her up. So there she is. She's just idling there. And as you can see here, it's uh, pretty quiet. You know, runs pretty smooth. Everything's pretty good. Um, now this prop hasn't been fully balanced yet, but it's balanced close enough for this test. I'm going to actually balance it even more, and it should run even smoother. This uh, this particular uh, prop adapter shaft here is. Um, Pretty good, but it's got a little bit of uh, offset because there's a front plate on it, and I, I don't really like it, so I'm obviously not going to be using it as stock. Okay, here we go to uh, this will be about 20%. Still running pretty smooth, nice and quiet. We're probably at about 20 watts here, somewhere in there. About a third. About 40% almost. That's 50%. So as you can see, this thing pulls. I, in fact, I noticed on the floor here. I did my tests on a, on the carpet before when I was doing it, but this thing's pulling so much that it's starting to actually move it. This thing's about 10, 10 or 12 pounds here, and it's already starting to pull it forward quite a bit. So uh, wind out, like I say, is 80, about 8100 RPM, and uh, that's moving pretty good. You can see this thing has a lot of pull, and I think it's gonna. I think it's gonna do fairly well. Um, I'm gonna have to be a little careful on the firewall mod just to make sure I've got enough reinforcement, so this uh, 4, 450 motor doesn't decide to go, um, you know, right off the rails. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching. I just wanted to uh, uh, let you know what I was working on here, and uh, if you have any questions, send me a private message, and we can go from there. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.